How are you guys look fuck here and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be doing the 85 rated French midfielder Lolon Blanc. He cost me 775,000 coins and in the 7 games that I played with him he scored me 7 goals and got me 3 assists and he has a 3 star weak foot and 2 star scummers and getting into his in-game stats for me his main standout stats are his 87 ball control, 86 finishing, 84 long passing and 89 penalties and getting into his icon profile. This was the Lolon Blanc early on in his career when he was playing for Montpellier obviously in this very strange midfielder uh, position role uh, but obviously going on to play for some other big teams like Inter Milan, Manchester United, and going on to obviously playing a much more recognisable role uh, as a centre back with those teams. But before we get off into this preview for you guys, I just have to say a massive thank you to the people in the stream yesterday who got, uh, went and told me to go buy this card. I was torn between him, centre back Mateus, and 88 rated uh, Desai. I went with this blonde card though in the end because you guys said he's absolutely incredible and. Oh my god, he is incredible. He is such a good card. Um, it's money well spent. Uh, it is a completed purchase for me. I'm hoping, um, unless Suarez goes and get like a gets a special card at some point uh, in the near future. But just such a fun card that I'm hoping to keep for the rest of this FIFA. No joke. He is a must-have, an absolute must-have. Uh, let's just get off though into the pros for this card. For me, his first pro was his strength. Such a strong player. And for me, I mean, 77 strength on his in-game stats doesn't look incredible. I mean, it's good, but for me, the best part is that he's at the height of six foot three which is fantastic having a player at the height in the center midfield position is obviously brilliant he just offers a great presence in the midfield which is fantastic very happy with his strength in general his second pro for me is his passing. Great passing. A lot of people think when they see the card, 75 passing. Uh, I don't know about that. But actually, he's got the main key passing stats, which he wants. 74 vision could be better, I know. 60, sorry, uh, 86 short passing is fantastic. 84 long passing, which are the main passing kind of areas you want from your midfielder. 62 curve doesn't matter for a midfielder. Free kick accuracy, free kick accuracy at 70 doesn't really matter because I've got Del Piero, who's in like the 90s for free kick accuracy. And 56 crossing again doesn't really matter when I've got wingers in my team. So, to, in general, his passing stats are very good in the key areas for a centre midfielder, and I was very happy with them. Fruit balls are still OP at this stage of FIFA, which is fantastic, even though after the updates and uh, his long passes and short passes in general were very, very good. His uh, third pro for me is his tackling. I thought his tackling was very good in general. Again, very nice defensive stats. 79 stand tackle, 78 slide tackle are very good. I wouldn't really play him as a CDM because he's got very good attack of stats as well, so he can get a good balance out of his attack and defense in the centre midfield position. But yeah, I was very happy when he did have to go back to help up the uh, defense, which Blanc can certainly do for you. And then for me, his final pro, which is quite an interesting one, is his finishing. His finishing is fantastic. He has 86 finishing on his in-game stats, which I was very surprised to see about. I'd be interested to see what his finishing is on his centre-back cards as well, because it shouldn't really go down that much, to be honest, in general. It should always have good finishing, even if it's a centre-back card, because, you know... As you get older, you know, for your kind of like ages of like 20 and into your 30s, your finishing should get better, not worse. But uh, I'm going to go for a bit of a rant there. But uh, his finishing was fantastic. Uh, his shot power was incredible. I mean, he's only got 78 shot power and he's only got 80 long shots. But for me, his shot power and his long shots were absolutely deadly. 89 penalties as well is always nice to have uh, a very confident penalty taker. And um, I was very happy with, uh, with his finishing in general. I mean, seven goals in seven games is fantastic and score me some big big goals but um in terms of cons there's no real con for me i mean two star skimmers isn't great but i think you can get away with that skimmers from a center midfielder i think people might like to see a maybe four star weak foot as well but three star isn't bad as well for a central midfielder uh for me in general i thought he was fantastic is he worth the coins yes a lot of people it's a component to pogba now i haven't used pogba but for me personally i go with blanc because um, he's more likely to keep value over a longer period than Paul Pogba, and he also has a nicer car design, and he's an icon, so, um, that's kind of why I would go with him, and obviously, due to primary icon SBC, he's got a better chance of going up in value than what, uh, Paul Pogba has as well, if you want to kind of look at it in that way, and, uh, it actually kind of is a bit of a cheap version of Rude Hullet, uh, as well, which is really good, um, if you can't always afford Rude Hullet, that is the alternative of Lolan Blanc, but in there, uh, Jeremy, I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10 rating, very happy with this card, and and I would definitely recommend you guys go and buy this car because he is absolutely fantastic. But anyway, guys, that's going to finish off this player review. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.